that coffee was lovely. Oh, that reminds me. Let's go to the coffee morning and see what bargains we can find. Well, here we are now, guys. We've come to the church, to the coffee morning. Hopefully we might find some good things, either to trade, to CEX, or to flip on eBay for the Poké Fund. First thing I'd like to see, guys, bag of toys. Let's have a good rummage through this and see what we can find. Well, I can't find nothing in here today, guys, but it's always worth having a look. What? Another bag of soft toys. I think these ones are new. I haven't seen these ones last time. Let's have a quick nose show them. Oh, but these guys. This, Peter Kay's Phoenix Knights, this trades in for about £9. If the DVDs are all there, or if the DVDs are there, £9 trading, not bad for £10. Happy days. Well, here you are, guys. I've just bought this nearest and dearest, the complete box set series. I checked it on the CEX app, it won't go through. But I just looked on eBay, they're going for between 15 to 20 pounds, so happy days for that, 10 pence as well. I'm going to get that for, um, obviously for the Poké Fund, so plonk that over there. Another box set, guys. Just have a look, that goes for about 6 pounds on eBay, so pick that up for, for the Poké Fund. Just bought this on the other end, guys, it's the PlayStation buttons, it's the lights, it's missing the USB port. But I know they do go for a bit. You can still put the batteries in it, but I've got to pick that up. I think that's probably a couple of quid's worth for there. Straight teddy bears. It's actually a money box. That's cool, that is. It's all maker's mark on it. You just lift that latch up and get the money out from there. It's quite bulky though, that's the only thing is postage. Well, this one's from my older viewers. Do you guys remember Skippy? That is cool, that is. But I'm gonna leave that. I got enough annuals as it is. Oh, this is one like a box of bric a brac. Oh, I noticed that bit straight away. Silvac. Now, I know some bits of Silvac does go for a bit. I know the squirrel one's quite common, but I've never seen a swan one before. I'll pick that up. Can't go wrong for 10 pence. Oh guys, just to let you know, I had some uh, purchases on eBay. I spent £91.50 on some uh, Ace graded cards. So let's uh, get to the Poké Cave. And here is our parcel. Let's crack this bad boy open. Well, I managed to open it. Oh, little freebies. Nigerian Goudra and Milton. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thanks. <laughs> so, here we are. Very well packed. So, here we are. So, first one Cricket Tomb. Oh, look at that. I absolutely love these ace labels. Hygerian Voltorb. Hygerian? Hysuian. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Comfy. And these are all from Crown Zenith, guys. Because I'm trying to get the, um, the uh, Galleon. <clears throat> My English is awful today. Try and get the actual gallery set with all the ace labels. 
And hopefully we might get some more, uh, oh, I love that Lapras. That's, that's, let's go in with it. I love Lapras. Last one, Altaria. So yeah, so I'm going to say a massive thank you to the, uh, the guy I bought them on Phoebe. And he said next time I buy some, he'd do a special discount or something like that. But uh, you don't have to do that, mate. But I'm hoping to buy the rest of these. And uh, thank you very much. <laughs> these are pride and joy now in the Pokey Cave. Cheers, mate. Well, this pretty much shows you can find anything in this place. Look at that. It's got a golf on it. But it's actually Cathness. It's a paperweight. It's quite nice as well. Quite weighty as well. I mean, I know paperweights go for a bit, and obviously because of the weight with the postage, but for 10 pence. Guys, I spotted this bundle of um, vintage Disney books. Look at that one. Lambert the Sheepfish Lion. They're all going back to the 1980s and 70s, so they'll be a nice little bundle. Maybe bring someone's childhood back. Bray Rabbit. Traveling in the jungle. So I'm easy. I just counted it now, there's about 70, so it's about 70 pence, so not bad. Guys, I went through this basket and I found these two books as well. They're from 1992. The Teddy Bears Surprise, Birthday Surprise, I mean. And the Teddy Bears have a dream. I mean, a nice little bundle. Some Nikes books. I got. I know I've got some other books in uh, the Pocket Cave, so they either can do as a nice bundle or if I can find more of these as a set. But yeah, pick them for 10 pence each as well. I saw this on the other end where they do in the bric a brac. It looks like uh, that uranium glass. I know last time I saw this kind of stuff, someone said, why don't you pick it up? But like I said, everything's 10 pence in here, so I'm definitely gonna try my luck on this. I had another nose in this box and I didn't even think of looking at that. It's a piece of Denby. That was a really nice and simple eyes. Pick that up as well because I want to try and do some different things than just toys. You know, you're gonna try and pull more audience into your eBay shop, so yeah, pick that up for 10 pence as well. So, as I went to the uh, bric a brac end as well, guys, I went through a box and they had old glasses and I found this. It's Asterix, it's from 1995, but I know I have got an Asterix book somewhere, so maybe I could bundle that or you know, maybe in the future I could find the other set of the glasses. Well guys, I've got to find two more items just to round everything up to two pounds. So, I'm not doing bad so far. Loads of records. But you know me guys, I don't deal with records. Well there you have it guys, I spent one pound eighty on everything. So, that's not bad. <laughs> Um, so if you enjoyed this small little video guys, uh, like always, make sure to leave a, a comment down below <coughs> comment down below what you thought about the pickups and uh, leave a licky likey <laughs> and like always make sure to thunder punch, bubble beam, rock smash, earthquake that subscribe button down below, I've been your boy Welsh Poker Picker, keep on picking, peace.